If you have a Samsung QLED TV with 120Hz refresh rate panel, you can make the TV run at 120Hz with FreeSync enabled and enjoy higher refresh rate gaming on your PC even if you don't have the latest and the greatest HDMI 2.1 graphics cards. Now the TV that I've got is the Samsung Q80T and this one is capable of 4K at 120Hz but that requires a graphics card with an HDMI 2.1 out which the NVIDIA RTX 2070 does not and I've got the RTX 2070 in my PC. So a video on 4K at 120Hz on Samsung QLED TVs will take some time. Until then, let me show you how to game at 120Hz at 1440p with FreeSync enabled. And this video should be valid for pretty much every high-end 120Hz Samsung QLED TV released in 2019, 2020 and beyond. And yes, on a big screen like this, it does make a massive difference going from 60Hz to 120Hz, especially while gaming. So before we begin, I am assuming that you have connected the TV to the computer using a high-speed HDMI cable without using any adapters. And secondly, you should be running the latest version of NVIDIA drivers. I'm running the version 456.71 and this is the GeForce Game Ready driver. And lastly, please make sure that your TV's software is up to date. This is very important because software updates will usually fix bugs and it will add new features. So go to settings, then go to support, then software update and tap on update now to update to the latest version. So at the time of filming this video, I'm running the 1402 version on my Samsung q 80 Okay, so with that out of the way, the first thing you'll need to do is enable Input Signal Plus for the HDMI port where you have connected your PC. So for that, press the home button on the remote and go to settings. Then go to general and then go to external device manager and go to Input Signal Plus and turn this on for the HDMI port where you have connected your PC. I have connected my PC on the first HDMI port on this TV, so I have selected HDMI 1. Now the second thing you need to do is make sure that the HDMI input tag is set to PC. Now this usually happens automatically, but if it does not, press the home button on your remote and go to sources and then change the HDMI tag to PC. This is important because this will disable all the artificial enhancements and it will tell the TV that there's a PC plugged in on the other side. And this usually happens automatically when you plug in a PC, but if it does not, make sure that you change it to PC. The third setting that you need to change on your TV is enable game mode. Game mode enables free sync functionality. So go to quick settings and turn on game mode and you'll see that the free sync will start working. So now that we have enabled game mode, if I press the middle button, you can see we are running at 4K with FreeSync VRR enabled at 60Hz. And these are the settings that you need to change on your TV. Now we will move on to the PC. Now to make the TV run at 120Hz, you'll need to open up the NVIDIA control panel. And the way you usually do that is by right clicking on the desktop and selecting the NVIDIA control panel option. If you don't see this here, search it in the start menu. Now, once you open up the NVIDIA control panel, select change resolution and over here, look for 2560 into 1440. Select this and change the refresh rate from 60 to 120 Hertz. And that is pretty much all you need to do. And then click on apply. And that's it. Now the TV is running at 1440p at 120 hertz with VRR enabled and you can check if G-Sync is running or not by clicking over here and it says here enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible enable for full screen mode. So yes, G-Sync or VRR is running on Samsung Q80T, no problem and if I press the middle button on the remote, 2560 into 1440 free sync VRR, 119 hertz input signal plus. So you guys might be wondering how is the PC gaming experience like at 1440p at 120Hz with FreeSync enabled? Well, 
it's amazing i do prefer to play games at 1440p at 120hz rather than 4k at 60hz and yes there is a massive difference in the smoothness going from 60hz to 120hz on a big screen like this it is very noticeable and if you have a graphics card that can maintain 120fps you will absolutely love the 120hz experience and let me show you FreeSync in action so this is grand theft auto 5 and the game is completely maxed out right now and the RTX 2070 at 1440p is maintaining about 90 FPS. You can see how the GPU usage is at 99%. And check that out. That is how variable refresh rate works. The TV is adjusting its refresh rate to match the frame rate that the graphics card is putting out. So this is why you will not see any screen tearing on the screen when you are gaming. That's because the TV is able to match its refresh rate with the frame rate that the graphics card is putting out. I have disabled anti-aliasing and finally the RTX 2070 is maintaining 120 FPS in Grand Theft Auto 5 running at 1440p. So ultimately, the gaming experience will boil down to the type of hardware you've got on your PC. The more powerful the hardware, the better the gaming experience. And this is especially true if you want to game at 120 FPS. The motion smoothness will just blow your mind away. Now, for less demanding games like Dota 2, the RTX 2070 will maintain 120 FPS at 1440p. No problem, you will never see any frame drop. So yes, do keep in mind you need a fairly powerful hardware to push out 120 fps at a consistent rate to game at 1440p especially with newer titles and you can see freesync is constantly adjusting the tv's refresh rate to match the frame rate that our graphics card is pushing out so that's awesome now one thing i want to say that you do lose out on a bit of sharpness when you run the tv at 1440p because this is not the native resolution of the screen and the loss in sharpness is quite noticeable when you are looking at text in windows so this is why i usually switch the tv back to 4k 60 hertz when i'm doing some stuff in windows i keep the 120 hertz and 1440p setting only for gaming so now you can see everything is nice and sharp on the screen because this is the native resolution of the TV. And this is much better when you are working in Windows because you will be looking at a lot of text. And finally guys, once you are done playing video games and you want to work in Windows, I also recommend that you switch off game mode because it's not really required for Windows. So just switch it off and now the TV will work normally. So now we are back in 4K at 60Hz which is perfect for working in Windows on a PC. So thank you guys for watching, hope this video helps you out if you have an Nvidia graphics card on your PC and a 4K 120Hz Samsung QLED TV you can game at 120Hz at 1440p with FreeSync enabled. So thank you guys for watching, if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer you guys. So thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for more videos on the QADT and I'll see you guys next time.